have you ever wondered why is it so hard to balance the bike when it's stationary? I'm gonna try to balance. Very hard. However, if you start riding and moving, it becomes very easy to balance. So, why is it like this? I've always uh, asked myself this question since I was a kid. And I put forward many theories. Sometimes I thought it's to do with the, the latest and I thought the most advanced theory that I thought of was that I thought it's to do with the air. Like the shape of the human would make some balanced uh, air streams going around and they will keep you in balance and keep you from falling sideways but I found out that all of this was wrong it's actually the concept of the gyroscope this is a wheel with a string attached to its side the center of mass of the wheel is somewhere here in the middle so if it's supported from the side and I let go this is what will happen and that makes sense because the center of the mass is here so it will pitch and be stable in this orientation however if I spin this it will remain upright this is the concept of gyroscope and this is what keeps the bike stable when it's moving now the big question is why does this happen I have a theory which I'm not sure if it's right and I hope some of the like the physics nerds out there can post video responses and explain to me but the way I think of it is from Newton's theory let's imagine this part of the wheel when it's spinning we give it a push in this direction so this part tends to want to go in that direction so Newton's theory says that everything stays at constant velocity unless acted by external force so we push it it will continue in that direction but what happens is because it's spinning it will go to the opposite direction and then that will push to the other direction so what will happen is it will never twist from this orientation I'll try explaining again this section is got if I push it this way this section is gonna try to go that way and what will happen naturally this section here it will try to come this way but because it's spinning if we imagine this trying to go that way this part of the wheel trying to go that way when it comes here it will be trying to go the opposite way so this keeps it stable about the rotation axis I hope this is right this is when I first saw it I thought it defies physics because they told us that the sen the moments uh, in all directions have to be zero and this doesn't seem to agree with that but because it's dynamic it's moving that's why this is possible the moment it stops it takes a totally different orientation Now I'll try at a different angle. It will try to retain the angle so long as it's dynamic. The moment it starts losing speed, it will struggle and then wobble.
and then retain its static stable orientation this is how I thought of it the reason is this is spinning and this part of the disc when we push it or when gravity tries to push it as in the case in this case gravity will induce a moment which will try to push this section that way and this section this way what happens from Newton's law this part of the mass trying to go that way and that part trying to go this way but because the disc is moving and rotating as we give it a push or gravity gives it a push it try it uh, Newton's law says that it will continue at a constant speed forever but because it's rotating now it's gonna try to continue to do this but because it's rotating what happens it will come down and then it will do the opposite and same with this it was trying to do this but the moment it comes up it will continue in the same direction which is doing this which is opposite to what it was trying to do then so this is what keeps it uh, stable about its rotational axis I hope this is what it is and I hope someone can explain that's enough enough